Ford Field is the iconic home of the NFL's Detroit Lions. The stadium opened in 2002 as a replacement for the Pontiac Silverdome, which itself has an incredibly interesting history that we'll cover in a future episode of the Archive of Everything. With the Silverdome beginning to show its age by the mid-1990s, the team began exploring a move back to downtown Detroit from Pontiac. As part of the Detroit city government's downtown revitalization plan, local voters approved a referendum for the stadium and the plan moved ahead. Construction officially started on Ford Field, sponsored by the Ford Motor Company, on November 16, 1999, and the complex fully opened on August 24, 2002, at a cost of $500 million. The stadium is unique in the fact that it incorporates a former Hudson Automobile Warehouse into its design. The former warehouse was converted into office space and suite space, with the suites overlooking the playing field. Currently, an advertising company and law firm occupy the office space, making for a truly unique experience for employees of their respective companies. With the suites on the warehouse side of the field, the majority of seating for general fans are on the northern side of the stadium. With the suites on the warehouse side of the field, the majority of seating for general fans are on the northern side of the stadium. It's truly an incredible sight to see on the inside and is really unique amongst NFL stadiums. The stadium's dome has large skylights that allow natural light onto the playing surface and large corner glass windows that give the stadium an open feeling with the southern window on concourse providing sweeping views of downtown Detroit. An interesting piece is when designing the stadium, a 45-foot hole was dug into which to build the stadium so that the complex didn't dwarf the scale of other nearby buildings in Detroit's skyline. Another unique aspect of Ford Field and its natural sunlight are the east and west aligned end zones. One may think kickers would be blinded by the sun when kicking at sunset, but thanks to a clever stadium design, the sunlight only reaches to the sidelines, leaving for a mostly evenly lit playing surface. To keep the stadium updated to modern NFL standards, a $100 million renovation was undertaken in 2017 to upgrade the video boards, sound system, suites, and restaurant facilities at the complex. The $100 million renovation price tag is staggering when considering that the stadium itself only cost $500 million to build in the first place. Common events to be hosted at the stadium include high school football championship games, the former Little Caesars Pizza Bowl, the Quick Lane Bowl, and various WrestleMania concert events. In addition to these previous events, other events including basketball, hockey, soccer, have been hosted at the stadium as well. On December 13, 2003, Ford Field hosted the then largest ever basketball game between the University of Kentucky and Michigan State in front of a crowd of 78,129. The stadium must have been truly bursting at the seams when you consider its football capacity is only 65,000. Ford Field continues a legacy as a modern NFL venue capable of hosting a wide variety of sports similar to nearby Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. Its classic architecture combined with the integrated Hudson factory suites make it a unique fan experience that many will enjoy well into the future. With that, Ford Field joins our archive of everything. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment about future episode ideas. For now, this has been Matt from the Archive of Everything, and I'll see you all real soon.